The EU countries who have suffered the most because of Brexit have been revealed in a new report, Facts for EU, Org revealed the financial carnage that losing the UK has wreaked on the bloc's members. Not surprisingly, Germany came out as the biggest loser after its economy was down £12.2 billion in the last 12 months compared with 2016 the year of the referendum vote, it was followed by Belgium, £3.7 billion, France, £3.3 billion, the Netherlands, £2.7 billion, and Spain, £2.6 billion. The website also revealed that UK consumers bought £28 billion less from the EU last year than in the referendum year. Dot dot. In data gleaned from the Office for National Statistics ONS, it found that Sweden sat in sixth place, down £1.2 billion. It was followed by the Czech Republic, £1.1 billion, Italy, £0.7 billion, Slovakia, £0.4 billion, and Portugal, £0.4 billion. The website claimed this loss of trade was not of Covid effect, or because of new border controls. In a statement it added, as the EU's largest economy, it is not surprising that Germany has lost most in terms of financial totals. If an EU country sells more, it loses more if there is a trend away from buying from EU countries. The actual totals in pounds can therefore disguise the impact on individual countries, it added, the problems at the borders have all been about UK exports, not EU imports. These have been caused by the overzealous actions of the EU and its customs authorities in allowing UK goods going to the EU. Goods flowing the other way, from the EU into the UK, have continued to flow thanks to the UK deciding to operate a light-touch customs operation with the EU. To the best of our knowledge, no EU trucks have been impounded in the UK due to a French lorry driver having a half-eaten baguette jambon in his cab. This is not the case with the EU, sadly. Last week the chairman of Marks & Spencer described how an M&S lorry had been impounded in the Republic of Ireland because their driver had a ham sandwich in his cab. The driver was then forced to complete hundreds of pages of EU forms by Irish customs officials before being allowed in. British people have nothing against EU 27 people, it's the EU autocracy that's the problem. As we wrote yesterday, any move by British people and businesses to buy less from EU27 companies has nothing to do with the British public's views about the citizens of EU27 countries.